What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and in this one I'm going to explain how to install TensorFlow version 1.4 for Windows 10 using Anaconda and the GPU version. So the reason why I'm redoing this is while the last video for the most part it was pretty successful, there were some things I didn't explain correctly which led to a lot of questions that people had. So I want to go back, explain it correctly so that it's a nice clear and crisp um, install process. So. Let's get started. So to help with the install, I prepared a Jupyter notebook, which summarizes all the steps you'll need to take. You can always refer to the TensorFlow website, but this notebook will serve as a more concise instruction manual. So there'll be a link in the description where you can download from my GitHub. So to begin, let's start with the prereqs. So the first thing is you're going to need a NVIDIA GPU. And you'll need one that has a compute capability of 3.0 or higher. And I went ahead and checked and the oldest one that will work is the GTX 650. So you could probably pick one of these up used for pretty cheap, but I would recommend going with one with a little bit more VRAM. So a good option is the GTX 1050 Ti, which has four gigabytes of VRAM and you can get one new for I think $200 but you can also pick up a 950, 960, or one of the 9 series for pretty cheap. So step one, get a NVIDIA GPU. And then the next thing is you're gonna need Python, and I would recommend using Anaconda. You don't have to, but you'll need Python 3.6 or 3.5. So I'd recommend going with Anaconda 3.6, but you don't have to. So the next thing you'll need is the CUDA toolkit and you'll need version eight. TensorFlow version 1.4 is still using CUDA toolkit version eight. I know that there's a CUDA toolkit version nine out, but it's not supported yet. So for now we'll stick with the toolkit version eight. And last you're gonna need QDNN version 6.0. So I'll show you how to do all these things in the next steps. So let's start with the CUDA toolkit. So I provided a link in the notebook where you can come to download. And what you'll do is you'll just pick your operating system. So we're on Windows. You'll pick your architecture and your version. So I'm on Windows 10. And then you'll select your installer. So the network one is a smaller, lighter weight package, which just installs what you need. But the local one, you'll download everything and install everything. So this is a more complete one and this is a lighter weight one. So if you have enough room and, and good enough internet speed, go with the local. If not, like if space and internet speed is a, is a problem, go with the network one. So you'll download this, you'll get an EXE installer. Just click it, run the installer, hit next until it's all done. And then you'll have the CUDA toolkit installed. Next thing to do is set your environment variables. So the way you can do this is if you just pull up a file explorer window, go to your PC, right click, go to properties, and then you can go to advanced system properties. And you'll see this window where it'll say environment variables. Just click that. And then you'll wanna to come to your system environment variables, and then you'll come down to path. So click edit and then you'll see this here. So the way you can add your variables is just click edit. Oops, um, let's, let's go to new. So then you'll just type in the paths here. So if I go back here, you're gonna need these three paths. So your toolkit should install in program files and then a folder called NVIDIA GPU computing toolkit, CUDA, oops. CUDA version eight bin. So you'll need this bin one, you'll need this LIB and VVP, and then also this extras one. I'm pretty sure you'll need all three of these. So just add these to your environments variable. So like I said, just click new, copy paste those in and add all three. So you'll do a new one for each path. Cool. So once that's all done, all your paths will be set. And then the next thing you'll need to do is download QDNN version 6.0. So if you can follow this link to the install page and oops, what you'll do is in order to install and download, you'll need to have a, um, a user profile. 
So if you don't have one, just you know give it a, a username and password and create an account. Once you've done that and you agree to the terms, just come down to the download QDNN version 6 for CUDA 8.0. Make sure it's for CUDA 8.0 because there's one for CUDA 7.5. Just open that and then click on the QDNN version 6 library for Windows 10. And if you've got 8 or 7, you know, click on that to install. And then what it'll do is download this zip file. And once that zip file has downloaded, just extract the contents. There'll be some folder called CUDA, and then there'll be three folders in that. And then what you'll do is just place that somewhere. And what I mean by place it somewhere is just pick a folder and put it there. So what I did was, so if I just open this, you can see the folder contents is just CUDA. And then there's these three folders here. So what I did was I just took this CUDA folder and put it on my C drive. So if I go to my C drive, you can see I have this folder here, CUDA. And then what you'll do is you just need to provide the path to the bin folder. So I have it on C, CUDA bin. So again, what you'll do is come to your, your properties so that way you can get to your environment variables. Come to path and you'll need to add one for the bin folder. So you can see here, I have one for C CUDA bin. Yeah, download it, extract the contents, put that CUDA folder somewhere, and wherever you put it, add a link or add a path to your path variable for the bin folder. So you can either do you know C, you could do program files, my documents, doesn't really matter. Just as long as you have the path to the bin folder. Cool, so now that we're done with all that, the next thing, let's jump back over here, is you'll need to update your GPU driver. So what you can do is just follow this link to your um, NVIDIA download page. Just select your um, the graphics card that you have, and once you have it, you'll just search. You'll download the driver, it'll be an EXE file. Just click on it and then work your way through the download. Just you know, click next a bunch of times and then you'll be good. So now that your graphics card driver is up to date, the next thing is to install Anaconda. So this is optional. If you already have Python installed version 3.6 or 3.5, then you don't have to do this. But if you don't, then I, like I said, I'd recommend using Anaconda. So you can just come to their download page and I would say, you know, go with version 3.6. And one thing to make sure is that you get the 64-bit version. I'm pretty certain that TensorFlow requires 64-bit version. So if you don't have it, just download. Um, again, it's an installer, so just work your way through the installer. One thing to make note of is while you're installing, there's an option to add Python to your path. So I'd recommend clicking that checkbox so that when you, like for example, if you open up a CMD window, and you type Python, it's gonna spawn your, your Anaconda Python interpreter. So if you already have like Python installed and then you install Anaconda on top of that, you might have a conflict on which interpreter is spawned when you click Python in your command window. You know, it's all about preference, which one you wanna use, but I have it set up that way, so I would recommend you setting it up that way also. So once you've got Anaconda installed, and your graphics card installed, driver updated, CUDA toolkit installed, and CUDNN installed with all your paths, then you're ready to do the pip install. So the next thing you would do is just open a command window and you'll type this pip install command. So once you do this, you know, it'll download the TensorFlow package just like any other package, and then you'll be good to go. So one thing to note, there is a slight discrepancy in the way TensorFlow um, documentation recommends. So you'll see that for the install with Anaconda, they recommend that you create a, a separate Conda environment for your TensorFlow. So you can do that. What that means is you're creating like another virtual environment for Python and all those packages. That's if you wanna keep them separate. 
my guess is like 90% of you don't care. Like you just want one install of Python and you want all your packages for that install. So if you want to keep them separate, create the se separate virtual environment for it. But if not, just install it on your root install of Python. Cool. So once you've done that, then in order to test your install, what you can do is open up an interpreter and run these commands. So I'm just going to do that now. Let's pull up one here. I'm just going to type Python and I'll just move it here. So the first thing is import TensorFlow as TF. And if you don't get an error, that means you're good. And then we'll just say hello is, well, let me just copy this stuff. Cool. So we've got that. We'll copy our session. And then you'll see all this stuff, which means that spawning all the uh, GPU, CUDA toolkit stuff, saying everything's okay. And then finally, we can, you'll print this um, sys.run, and then you're gonna run hello, and you should get hello TensorFlow. Cool. So if you don't get any error statements and it runs just like it says, then you're good to go. So hopefully these instructions help. One discrepancy from my previous video is I advised you to, or I said you need to install Visual Studios because when I look at the documentation for the CUDA toolkit, they say to install Visual Studios. But when I look deeper into it, you just need Visual Studios to, for example, run the example code that's provided with CUDA Toolkit, it's actually not required for TensorFlow. So you can skip that step. No need to install Visual Studios. So like I said, I hope this is helpful. Feel free to download and use the um, notebook that I provided on my GitHub. If you have any questions, just leave them below or um, you can also use the Facebook group. So yeah, hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next ones. Peace.